ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more The Evil Within. Here we go. Chapter 3. Claws of the Horde. Let's see how much suckage we can get into today. Ah, we've got some crows. Well, Sab, at least we landed in the water and not more blood, so, you know, I guess there's that. Chapter 3, Claws of the Horde. I don't know if these guys, like, if we kill the crows, do they get anything from them? I'm not really sure, to be honest. We're not going to risk it. What do we have here? Ooh, some brain juice. We'll have some brain juice. We can't use the brain juice, but we'll collect it. We shall hoard it, you see. Um, what else have we got going on here? Ooh. Hello. Ah. I was going to say, something snarling and snivelling at us. No matter. Let's light up these corpses and grab another match. Can only hold five matches. Don't know why. I didn't make the game. Oh. Alright. Ah, it's uh, all of our friends from the last part escaping. Yeah, I don't know who's opening this door for me, but uh, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Just get my other headset off my mic so it stops dragging my mic down. There we go. Cool. Um, ooh. Shit. Shit. Now, if I remember correctly, this was the demo area, I think. Because I do believe they did a demo for this game. Um, and I remember being, like, reasonably excited. However, I have forgotten how much, like, a big old bag of dog shit Sebastian controls. But I think what was so exciting about this at the time is we came off the back of, like, you know, Resident Evil uh, 4 and 5, where you couldn't run and walk around or move in any capacity at all whilst you're aiming and shooting. Whereas this game gave us kind of full freedom. I think that was, like, one of the big changes that I liked. Let's grab some of that gel. Ah, we can't grab that, can we? Of course, we can only hold two medical syringes at once. We'll keep that there. Just in case. You can hear save room music. Hmm. It's still quiet. Too quiet. I think... Oh, I remember these. Oh, oh God. These things explode if we get too close, I think. But, yep, cool. We can creep up to them. Ah. Uh, right. So. <laughs> yep, we got to stop the needle in the blue zone. Uh, if we get the red zone, it explodes in our face. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they get faster as the game goes on. Can't really remember. Yep. Yep. I was a little bit too quick there. Ah, hey, remember that like health kit that we left back in the barn? Yeah, I suppose we can go claim that one now. Hey, we've got some brain juice. We'll have the brain juice, I suppose. We can hide as well. I don't know if there's any like real reason to hide. Uh, I can't remember, to be honest. I'm sure we're going to discover that together. Okay. Let's have... Ooh, hello. She's gone. She's gone. But we do have a document. First day as a detective. My new partner, Myra Hansen real firecracker. Tenacious and no nonsense. My kind of woman. But I've got to watch it around her. She almost caught me checking out her ass today. Oh, Sebastian. What a classy character you are. 
Can't say those sort of things in 2023. There, yeah, we've got another map fragment. All right, cool. I'm gonna try and get all the map fragments and things. My head. I don't know if we are gonna get them all. I'm not gonna promise it because ah, I just kind of not that bothered about this game to be honest. But we'll see. Oh, come on, Sebastian. He does open doors extremely slowly. You should find this useful. Okay, what have you got for me? Yeah, definitely noticing the animations are extremely wonky. This way, please. All right, I'll be with you in a second. But first, let's read the news. Serial killings continue. Police baffled by cause of death. How can there be a zero trace of the killer? More bodies found near Elk River community. Residents feel trapped in their homes. Oh my. That's not good. It's not good at all. So who's missing today? KCPD officer Oscar Connolly disappeared whilst on patrol. Patrol car found abandoned on the outskirts of town. Yeah, that's because we like shot three holes in his face earlier. Uh, no, don't worry. He was a zombie. So, it's okay. Self-defense. You know. So, uh, looks like uh, Sebastian's a bit of an ass man. Where are you taking me? You don't talk much. She's definitely the silent type, unlike me. Detective Castellanos, do you have a key like this? Uh, I think, we'll, yes, we have two. That key will allow you to open this door. Wonderful. All right, I'll open the door. I don't suppose you're Ooh, gonna allow me to open. The contents are yours. Ooh. Please come back whenever you need to. Can I open a door uh, with that key that you had there? Right, so these are randomized. Um, what do we actually have on us? Uh, so we've got one syringe, but we can pick another one up. So. We're going to leave this stuff here until we really need it. Now, it's going to be interesting because we can we can hold like sod all ammo. And of course we have this here. This map is as fragmented as the city itself. Yeah, and it says something like by completing it, it might do something good or something. Uh, we're going to try and complete it. I honestly can't remember what that does, but sure. Look at that brain juice chair over there. Look at that. Doesn't it look amazing? Well, too bad. We're not allowed to use it. So, you know. Come on, Sebastian. Probably start thinking about giving up those smokes. Having said that, if you can't run three feet without wheezing and being out of breath, there's probably something severely wrong with you. I'm just saying. Now, if I remember correctly, coming up here... Yeah, th doesn't this, like, just link around to the other building? Oh! Leslie! I'm... I'm not Leslie. I'm Sebastian. Sebastian the Ass Man. Nothing here. Well, it looks like the good doctor is around. Who's there? No, don't shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm a doctor. Marcelo Jimenez. You were in the ambulance before a crash, right? Yes, we're lucky to be alive. Have you seen anyone else? My patient, Leslie. I saw him running up ahead, but... But? Come this way. Quietly, mind you. Quietly, mind you. The way he talks is so bizarre. Have a look for yourself. Have a look for yourself. Chased me all the way into the village. Me too. They're all over the place. It's like he's Let's struggling to breathe. 
Good lord. There are too many to shoot our way through. Well... One of us could try to lure them away while the other gets the gate open. You're the one with the gun. Well... If you uh, say so. This is gonna go well, isn't it? Okay, Doc. Look, I'll play your little game. For now. But... I'm gonna have to loot this area first, you understand. Can hide. Oh, hello. Alright, we'll crank your terrace. Don't you worry about it. So we've got some more matches of which we can't hold. But then saying that, I'm not surprised if you look at the size of the matchbox. There's no way you're gonna be fitting that in any available pocket. Oh. Hello there. Uh do we want yeah, we'll disarm it. I think even though that's disarmed, we can still hit the explosive. So that's worth remembering. Oh, uh, we'll take the axe. Yep, really starting to remember now just how unpleasant this game is to control. Oof. Oof. Right, okay, so. Got lots of wine bottles and things dotted around all over the place. I guess that will serve some sort of purpose. Ooh. Sort of some sort of serve purpose. Those things, I remember, they're really tense. Ooh, a grenade. This stick grenade is a relic from nearly a hundred years ago. How it ended up in a private hands is unknown. Well, well, we've got it now. Never find any bullets, do you? Well, maybe you do. Right, let's go let Dr. Marcel out so he can go on a little adventure. Probably going to get himself horribly murdered. Oh, God, that stamina. Oh, it's so bad. It's awful. Um, right. Oh, we've got some more brain juice here. God, I, I want to just run everywhere, but you can't. I mean, you know, for someone who can't really run or move... Uh, he's got some interesting, like, action animations, I suppose. Alright, Doc. We're coming. Alright, so if you, like, I'd say double tap space, you actually open the doors much faster, but it's more like you have to push space four times. Tap that space bar. You know you're in for some shit when you got to tap it. There we go. All right, go for it, Doc. Wow, there is a few of them. Now, if I remember correctly, don't some of them have guns? Over here, here. That's hey, bad. Over here. That's right this way. You're a brave man, Doc. That old guy is gonna get himself killed. Yeah. Well, better him than us. That's all I can say. Okay, fine. Oh. Oh, yeah, the dude. There's a dude in the barn. I remember. I remember the dude in the barn. Okay. Now we... Oh, they're coming up the stairs. They're literally... Oh, did he just... Yep, there's one. Okay. He's a little bit mental. Oh, God, there's another one. Hello, sir. That's fine. Let yourselves out. Keep moving. Alright, now let's go get him in the back. Turn the old torch off. Probably not the best thing to have. Can we not stealth kill this guy? Alright, that was a bit odd. 
But whatever. Oh. Hide, hide. <laughs> I can't remember if I did any of this hiding malarkey. Oh, hi. Hello. Yep, this is gonna hurt. So, apparently they're not that... S oh, shit. They're not that stupid. It would seem. Well, he's dead. Alright. Definitely could have gone better. Ooh. A syringe. I'm pretty sure those syringes are extremely rare drops. But that's f fine. Alright. Now, we're not going to burn any bodies today. At least not there. You alright, Sebastian? You good? Had a bit of excitement. And we can't go through that door now for reasons. Now, you're going to see a lot of um, options to pick stuff up. But unfortunately... It's going to be like um, bottles and things. Things that we don't really need or care about. Now, for some reason, if you turn your light on, it's pretty useless. But if you duck, the light gets better. Don't ask me why I didn't make the game. I just complain a lot. Now, there's a guy with a gun, because I remember him. I remember him very well. Alright, he's going to let himself in the building. Oh, there's another one there. Can we sneak up on this guy quickly? Probably could have if we were quicker. Alright. Let's see what we can do with these guys. Can we duck? Can we duck today? Push the button like four times. There's just two of them in there. Alright, so I guess... I'm guessing a stealth kill is like completely silent. Which pleases me. Well, go stick a knife in this guy's head. Looks like he's already got plenty of uh, things in him. An extra knife ain't gonna hurt anybody. Well, I mean, it's not gonna hurt him, is it? And to the fact that he's already dead and all that. Now, do we need? We do not need. We have the haves and the have-nots. Ah. Okay. Okay. Let's go. That's where the good doctor's gone. Mm, and we've got a man over there with a large gun. Let's, uh... Check out the barn. There's a very large, very angry man in the barn. I do remember that. Okay. like we're all good up here. Now, the very large dude downstairs. I, isn't that the chainsaw guy? Actually, if I remember correctly. Ooh, nice. You know what? Let's use that. Because didn't we leave another one behind us? <gasps> bullets. Oh, bullets. We like bullets. And we need bullets. For shooting things. Right, let's try disarm this bomb. <laughs> you know, it's got to be said, those bombs are good fun for giving you like a little bit of uh, anxiety. Oh, and I guess we can burn 
the stacks of hay, which makes sense. I mean, I know you can, I know we can burn them with uh, matches, but I didn't realize we could burn them with a torch. All right, that's good to know, I suppose. Ah, there he is. He has got treasure in there with him. Uh, do we want the treasure, though? I mean, I'm pretty sure we have to get it eventually anyway. So, we'll avoid it for now, I think. Cool. Nice little shortcut. Um... Right, what else is down here? I don't think we've got any enemies. Which is nice. I remember those boxes being not that rewarding. There's loads of boxes and things to break, but I don't think there's ever really too much in them. Ah. So we can set these on fire and then kick them. I don't know if that's going to hurt enemies. I'm going to assume it probably will. We've got some more matches there, which are useless to us. Go check out the ladder. Can only be good things up a ladder. At least that's what my mum always told me. It's very quiet. Oh, hello. Yes, please. It's a very large key. Like, I mean, when I say that's a very large key, that that's a very, very large key. Like, comically large key. The comically large jar of brain juice. Okay. I think we're probably going to leave our friend the Butcher alone. don't think there's anything in there. At least, probably nothing that we're going to be that bothered about. Alright. Now we can get all the way up. There, I do believe. It's dark. Definitely want to stay away from the, the, the nice man with a gun over there. Ah, also. Let's run back here and check. Did I pick that extra health kit up? I'm sure I left it. We, ah, we did leave it, didn't we, Sebastian? Right, we can burn... Oh, no, that uses it up. Of course it does. This is the either within. <sighs> you would have thought just waving your torch around would not use such things up, but you'd be wrong. Because this is the evil within. No fun allowed, kids. Now, um, I guess... Oh, hello. We left that there. Can we... Ah, right, it does disappear. Okay. <laughs> the... F Evening. <laughs> hey, friend. I see uh, this guy had a bit of an accident. Probably uh, might want to tell some kind of health and safety around about that. Must put that in the accident book. Don't let me forget. Write that down in the accident book. Man falling from great height. Spilt his brain juice on the floor. Ooh. Ah, a warhead for the Agony Crossbow, which can blind opponents with... Ah, yes. See, these are going to be pretty instrumental in our grand struggle. I actually forget when we get the Agony Crossbow. Hopefully we get it sooner rather than later. And I do kind of remember there being a key around here, but... Ooh, fuck. 
Maybe not. So they're on the roof as well. If only we had some kind of rifle. But we don't. Not yet. Now, do we find the weapons? I can't remember if we actually... Ah, oh, look, there we go. There indeed is a statue. How do we get... Okay. I don't know if shooting the gun is going to attract attention. Pretty sure. Or do we go and kill everybody first? And come back for that. Oh, I can't aim up high enough. Alright, let's go possibly clear these guys out. Can we aim at it now? Okay. Don't think that angered the locals. Which is good. And there's our key. Right. Sweet. Somebody is growling. Somebody has not had their breakfast this morning. Oh. Oh. That's upset someone. That has upset somebody. Now this lad definitely has a weapon in his hand. If in doubt, burn him out. More brain juice. More brain juice. Right. We definitely got the attention of someone then. Not sure where they are. That's fine. We'll worry about them another time. Oh, I think he's... Oh. Here he comes. Nope. He is making his way over to us. Just an incredibly slow fashion. There he is. Here he comes. Now, let's go see if we can't stab him in the back of the neck. Yep, see, turning Sebastian around so you can actually look is borderline impossible. You have to make the uh, WSD keys dance. What it's like with the controller, I don't know. Come on, sweet cheeks. If you could just get bored and turn around. I'd appreciate it. See? Nothing to see there. See? Your big ugly face must have chased him off. There you go. That's it. Now make your slow, arduous journey all the way back to your patrolling area. Whilst I knife you in the back of the head. Sound good? I thought so. Good lad. Okay, there's still more up there. There's always more. Uh, oh! Yeah. This is problematic. Uh, not really sure. Yeah, we're, we're not hitting him. <laughs> there's no way. We're not hitting him with this. Ah! I had no idea that we could just... Come up here. Curious. Don't turn around, sir. There's a good fellow. Oof. Apparently that's a checkpoint. 